our O line, you know, and uh, going out there for their first time. Some some of them their first career star. Just going out there with uh, just dominating the person in front of them. That's what their mentality was. And, it, and seen a couple of times we had uh, Jay Sean who transferred from defense to offense. Had a lot of pancakes and Market Jackson and and so on. And uh, our defense that stood out to us well too. What difference did you maybe see from what you guys were doing early on versus fourth, third quarter, fourth quarter when guys started to get more reps and get more time out there? Oh, I just seen like uh, each player was taking a snap at a time, you know, and uh, each snap we seen like they was improving. You know, and uh, we got this thing around the building that's, that's uh, for one, for one tendency, one, everything we do, just take it at, um, one, at one step at a time. And, and it seemed like our players were playing like that, and you can tell each um, each play and each possession. Just in general, how you came in late, just how did you feel about the way the rushing attack went in general, and then did it change after you all saw what happened on film? Uh, I feel like we didn't rush like we wanted to. We didn't uh, get the runs that we wanted. You know, uh, I think we were just a little hesitant, you know, in that defense, that that them shifting into a, from, from an even into a bad while we were reading, you know, and uh, we just, I just feel like we got a lot of stuff to uh, learn back there at the running back position. What are some things you can point to that you need to improve in the run game for, for Saturday? I just say hitting it and go, you know, uh, no thinking, no being hesitant, you know, and uh, it's just the first game, you know, and we got that game under the belt. We just ready for this week. As a senior, how did you review Jalen's performance? I know he got, the, got his first touchdown. Was it, was it rewarding for you to see him get that? And how did you kind of grade it, how he did? Uh, I think Jalen got in and he played, you know, um, played better than what a lot of people thought he would in his first um, college game. And, uh, you know, that, that touchdown, I told him, it's nothing like scoring your first touchdown as a freshman. You know, and uh, we got a thing called score standards, but, you know, sometimes you get carried away with it. But, you know, I, I feel he played he played up what he was supposed to. Probably just need, we're going to improve on it, though, on um, this week. Offensive line didn't have any returning starters coming in. Now they lose one of their starters. What is it about those guys that, that makes you feel like they can they can pick up the slack from, from losing a guy like Jacob? Uh, Jacob, he's a great guy, man. I, I like Jacob, you know, uh, and it, I feel sorry for him for, you know, uh, losing his career. And uh, we got people that, that practice every day hard. You know, uh, we move our offensive linemen around every day. So um, I'm very confident of the person taking his spot. What are you losing with Jacob being out? Uh, you know, leadership. Jacob always calm. You know, he's always – you know, smiling and talking to you. You know, he knowing he knowing his things and stuff. And uh, he fought through adversity since I've been here, since my freshman year. And um, you know, uh, we just gonna find somebody to fill this spot, um, which is we probably won't have a problem because everybody been doing well. Well, it seemed like the crowd was especially fired up for the game. Did, did you sense maybe a, a little more energy even than than normal? Uh, yeah, by being sold out, you know, for the first time and. A while on on the Sunday or on the opening, I felt a little juice coming in. You know, from for it being my last year, you know, uh, each each game is going down in the books for me. You know, in my college career, so I try to uh, go out there and, and, and enjoy the crowd and enjoy my teammates and just go out there and play 100. percent In what ways does that help you guys? That that kind of a crowd. Uh, it help us help us a lot knowing that we got people that's rooting for us. You know, uh, cause we here. A lot of down talking, you know, and which it doesn't bother us, motivate us, but just going to play the game in Knoxville and knowing that you got all the fans going 100% behind you, it just give us the, um, some push. Hey, Marlon, what difference do you see in Justin Worley now out there as, as the starter compared to a year ago when he was he was the starter but was still trying to, you know, hold on to his spot? A lot of confidence in Justin, man. Uh, Justin, that guy, you know, uh, never showed no down. Uh, no bad attitude. He's always coming to practice, leading with his voice, actions. And, you know, I, love, I like playing for a guy like that, you know. Um, and, and just I feel like if we protect, we protect him in the pocket, he's going to be a great quarterback for us. With the youth around him, how important is it that he has that improved level of confidence? Um, I think Justin have a lot of confidence in the receivers and the young guys out there because he stay out to practice with them. He meet with them and, uh, you know, he talk, to, talk the game to them. And, um, and I think by him doing that, they get closer and closer, and he get more confidence of throwing to the guys on the perimeter. All the running back coaches stress ball security, but it seems like Coach Gillespie is just really over the top about it. Do you? What do you think about his emphasis on ball security? Uh, I think you know, if I was playing running backs, 
we've majority touched the ball more than anybody on the field besides the quarterback. And uh, that's that's uh, DGA, what we preach on is you know, dreams, goals, and aspiration. You know, with us playing running back, we have to protect the ball. You know, less turnovers, you can win the game. You know, and uh, and in this in this league, if you don't protect the ball, you can't run the ball. You know, and that's that's what we strive on every I mean, day. It seems like every drill he has, there's people scratching at your arms or pulling at the ball or hitting you with with those pads or something. No, oh, you know that we work on that for breaking tackles. You know, people that we don't see, blind pursuit. You know, you never see the guy behind you, so. You want to keep that ball chin, you know, and protect it. You know, just in case you break a, lo a long run and somebody come from blind pursuit and try to knock it out, you know, and you just want to uh, make sure that ball don't get out. A couple Thanks. more. Marlon, sorry, you've probably been asked this, but when you, you went back and looked at the film, what did you notice in the run game that you guys could improve on? Maybe not just yourself, but the O-line, just everyone as a, as a team. As a uh, running back, just hitting it, you know, been not being hesitant. You know, our O-line blocked real good against the bad defense, you know, with us running that run play to get uh, between the tackles. And I just think that uh, that defense made us double think instead of just thinking and reading and go. What have you seen from Arkansas State's defense so far? Uh, you know, they they base defense. You know, they got a lot of uh, experience in the secondary. Uh, you know, uh, up front, you know, they move around, do a lot of stunts and things. And we're going we're gonna to try to figure out how to get, get through that defense.